Okay, the game we are playing tonight is called Precursors. It's a FPS RPG hybrid that's put out by Russian developer Deep Shadows. Now, Precursors is a little hard to find. It's um, only available in the United States, as near as I can tell, as a digital download from Gamersgate. I believe you can also get the game directly from the Russian developer itself, and there is a fan community patch that will allow you to um, get English text and dialogue in it. Wait for the crash to stop. There... Unfortunately, the English Alex? American release of the game has a bit of a problem Alex, with it. You really you alive? can't, um... Seems so. Let me check. Damn! Yeah! I'm alive. As you can see, the cutscene here Me has too, English dialogue well, in it. Hurts. Unfortunately, the, the Gamerscape release here? only has, say the ship has passed dialogue all at all in the all systems working um, cutscenes. So if you actually accident, want to know what's going on during the rest of the game, you have to read yeah, the know, sidebar text. The and there's no that, uh, subtitles wait, anywhere. Uh, where's that Unfortunately, when they removed Chris, the Russian right, dialogue, they also removed all the other sounds, like weapons fire, attacking you, and that sort of thing. So I was forced to find a patch that will download the I was first trying to patch that would download the original Russian sound files for the dialogue and everything else and then put a second you, patch on to restore the English and the cutscenes and why is this guy winding up the back of my neck get up private okay that's, that's you down there that's, your name is Tris Crichton you're a pilot um he said private but you're the pilot and what we're playing here is the introductory tutorial segment of the game. It's actually not the way the game works, or not exactly what the game yeah, works. Here we're fighting intelligent plants. And my colleague just dropped dead for no reason. There's another plant. Boyets! Сколько тебя можно ждать? Going to body of my colleague didn't even know who I am. The thing about Precursors here is the game's an FPS RPG hybrid, as I stated, but it also does a lot of other stuff as well. It's a... you can fly a starship and do spaceship combat. You can drive vehicles. You can do a lot of things. Um, there, you can pilot giant robots at one point. Um, unfortunately, the game does all these things, and there's a bug. And unfortunately, all the bugs in the game aren't quite so easy as badged. The game has some real bugs in it. Oops. Yes, it's, not well. okay. it's not very polished. It has a lot of problems that a lot of Western RPGs don't have. But it's got a very unique design aesthetic, as you can see. I mean, the game's absolutely gorgeous in many ways. Um... It's... okay, I'm being attacked from somewhere... Something's killing me... I have no idea... Okay, let's just get this way. That's where I just came from... So I need to go the other way... There it is! Okay. Anyway, and we have sunflowers too. Um... But it's a semi-open world. It's a very interesting RPG. It's Pool of acid. Okay. It's just, anyway, I'm playing it, I'm having a lot of fun with it, and I'm sure they did not give me this rocket launcher just for the hell out of it. So let's see what they want me to do with it. I don't know what that part deep pulse was. Okay, oh look. There's the Empire. I don't know if the same guys that Luke and Company were. Him. Well, the Empire thinks I'm an enemy now. What? The rocket fire wasn't... Grenade! I guess the um, rocket launcher kind of gave the enemy part away. Oops, I missed. And I missed again. I guess I'll have to use something else. Robot. Oops. Oops. I'm 
dodge him. I got I'm limping because of the damage I've taken. My leg is injured, so it's making me limp. The game is a lot of fun. It, like I said, it does have some bugs. It's got a fairly nasty memory leak in it somewhere. The game slows down dramatically every now and then, and you have to exit and restart. But, and I've mentioned the dialogue patch I had to install, and okay, something weird just happened. What is that? No idea, sir. It's impossible. The training program doesn't allow that. Uh, such an error can't... How's Crichton? The cadet feels fine. I'm observing a slight acceleration of heartbeat rate. interesting is their monitor screen According here to the readings, the cadet has stopped the, the execution of the program by his own strength of will. But that's not possible. But technically, no. But in light of recent studies, there is a theory about unique persons having a capability to consciously influence even more complicated quantum processes than those taking place in computer memory. Are you suggesting that he's... Take him out of stasis. When he comes around, tell him he got the full marks. The examination is over for today. Inform the other cadets they'll be taking the teamwork and survival in extreme conditions tests tomorrow. Proceed. Yes, yes sir. sir. Cadet Triss Crichton was delighted to learn he's got the highest mark. So apparently he doesn't Usually remember the graduates who got such him. results are assigned to Casilla, to the honorary service of the Elder Guard. But Triss was sent to Golden. Golden could hardly be called a planet. A hole on the edge of the universe. If not for Niftidium mining, nobody would have even heard of it. However, it was one of the last two planets belonging to the Amarn race. Over the last decades, this once mighty and powerful race has lost almost all of their possessions across the galaxy. Now, everything was run by either the Empire or the Democratic Union. And Tris Crichton, the character you're playing, is a um, Armarn. It's not the only thing that Tris was but... glad for was that Ira was also assigned to Golden. Chris and Ira didn't expect anything special from Golden. They were confident that everything that awaited them were raider skirmishes in the desert and drunken brawls in the local bar. I'll let you decide which one of those is an actual assignment and which one they do in their spare time. Still, Tris Crichton's father used to serve on Golden. Tris didn't know much about him, but was hoping to find his father's old comrades in arms. Surely, they remembered Greg Crichton and could tell a few impressive tales about him. And I'm sure they can. We'll get to that next time.